This is Underdog Exodia. This deck revolves around the continuous spell card Heart of the Underdog. During our draw phase, when drawing a normal type monster, we can reveal it and draw one additional card. If we draw into several normal type monsters consecutively, we draw as long as we draw a non-normal type monster card. So we play Triple Heart of the Underdog. And since 4 of the 5 Exodia pieces are normal type monsters, I build a deck around it. We play the 5 pieces of Exodia. Reload lets us dig into our deck and replenish bad hands, that is, hands without the keycard Heart of the Underdog. In case our Exodia pieces unfortunately get discarded by an opponent's effect, for example by the Linkman Duo, we play double Dark Factory of Mass Production and one Backup Soldier. To cycle through our deck as fast as possible, whereby assembling as many pieces of Exodia as possible, I play 21 normal type monsters in addition to the 4 normal Exodia pieces that share all the property of being strong stats-wise. I pick triple copy of Battle, Soul, Battle Footballer, who has a big booty, triple copy of Charcoal Impashi, who has also the strong 2100 booty, and one copy of Soul Tiger. For offensive monsters, I play triple Luster Dragon, Triple Arshfiend Soldier and Triple Insect Knight, who all share the attack stats of 1900. And also Triple Mad Dog of Darkness, I forgot to mention. And for Tribute, sum, tribute Monsters, Double Summon, summon Skull. To get to the headpiece quicker, I also went for one Zangan. In order to keep up with the opponent setting up an impressive board, I play one copy of Two Man Cell Battle, two -man cell battle for swarming the board with norm normal type monsters, and one copy of Skill Train to level the playing field. And at last, Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity are must off for every GOAT format deck. That's it for the deck and as always the decklist can be found in the video description. Thank you for watching.